All right, folks, maniacs and cool people who came on the internet to see me just because you don't know who I am. We're talking with a couple of nerd icon legends, and I can call them that because we're all nerds here, and so it's okay, it's a compliment. And we're talking with Nathan Fillion and Clark Gregg on Joss Whedon's new epic, Much Ado About Nothing. How did this happen? Clark, go. <laughs> I knew you could do that. Well, I'm, I was told, though I wasn't included, that there were some Shakespeare brunches. I thought you were there. I remember you being there. I was waiting tables there. I, was, I served you a uh, wonderful uh, you were excellent. blueberry muffin. Yeah. Uh, but I know I wasn't there. So tell, talk about that. Shakespeare brunches at Joss's house. An email would go out saying, every, who can make it? People would respond. Mm -hmm. From that, he would cast a Shakespeare play. Mm -hmm. This is the play. This is the book we're using. These two characters are now one character. This one's a girl. And... And we'd, we'd do a Shakespeare brunch in his backyard. And he was saying we should film one of these one day, which I honestly thought meant filming us reading it. Videotape the brunch. Yeah, but that was <laughs> not, not the real his thing. plan. Not his plan. That's really funny because one of my questions was actually, I was going to say, is are these like barbecues in his backyard that he comes up with this idea? And apparently it did. Exactly. <laughs> and when we actually started filming, I thought it was going to be far more casual. And it was actually, a, it's a production. It, it was a really... Yeah, trucks and everything. Yeah, lights... And when you, when you guys were doing the brunches, was this one of the better readings? Well, I didn't. We did didn't you? read this one. We did Twelfth Night. And you what, didn't read we this did, one. We did another one. Not not the one. I, I didn't attend. I did two of them. Oh. And this was filmed in like twelve days. Twelve like days. Like no time whatsoever. Twelve days. Which is funny because like my friends and I, we we loved to make short films when I was a kid, and it took two weeks to film four minutes. This uh -huh. is a hundred minute movie in twelve days, all yes. filmed in black and white. Yes. And you two, this is the first time that you two have been in a movie together. Finally, yes. And oh. yeah, now you're inducted into the Joss Whedon family, as it's called, because now you're going to be in more stuff of his. Uh, uh, apparently so. I've, I've actually only been working for him since the Avengers, for the most part. Uh, after the Avengers, I, I, I had dinner at his house with a bunch of people where he was basically celebrating the end of photography and was about to start editing. And he said, oh, I'm not going to go on vacation. <laughs> I'm going to shoot this film in my house, uh, Much Ado About Nothing. And... Next thing you know, I was there trying to learn the lines, and I was in it, and and Does, seeing all these people in, in shows and, and films that I'd loved. Right. And uh, I thought, I, uh, I hope they're nice to me, and they <laughs> they very much were. And um and now uh and now I'm doing Agents of Shield. Yes. With, uh, Joss and his brother Jed and Jed's wife Mo, and uh, and that's coming out this fall. So I'm. Told. Which is funny because Coulson li Coulson lives, which is very important. Because Joss Whedon, I wouldn't say he was notorious, but he does kill off people. He kills people. He kills folks. Yeah. And he brought you back. Somehow. That's a first. Uh, I, think, I think the uh, Marvel Universe is a little bit more accessible to the concept of people not being 100% dead. Um, <laughs> and I also was lucky to have some people who uh, started writing Colson Lives all over the globe. Yeah, that's the hashtag of the entire show. Is I've, Lives. I've seen the shirts. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get a Colson Lives now. shirt. Immortalized. They, they, they got the, the bus of the, uh, the, the red, white, and blue. Yeah. You, you have one. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> Joss Whedon sets always, to me, I, I'm always like, it always looks like it's work, but it's in disguise. It's really play in disguise of work. Is that how it is, or is it like, no, he's a director like any other director? And yeah. Best job ever? Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. Working for Joss. It's something else. Top three. <laughs> Your no, top three? Yeah. <laughs> I, I've, I've rarely had as much fun or been as scared. As I was doing much to do about nothing, just because mm -hmm. there was so little time, and it was Shakespeare. Yeah, right. Is it is it Shakespeare speak? It's much as thee and thou lovest thine, and it's that all that. Oh stuff. yeah, no, it's, it's not that. rewritten. Uh, it's it is it's straight Shakespeare. up Shakespeare. It's straight text. up Shakespeare. <laughs> Cut but, down a but little it's, bit. It's not like when you're in high school and the kid next to you is, is made to read it out loud, and he's t reading it in monotone, and he stops at the end of the line because that's when the line that's not how Shakespeare is I admit the the idea is it's like conversation that's right it done well mm -hmm. done correctly <laughs> with the power of Clark and Nathan it, it, it it's just conversation it makes sense right. they'll say like Shakespeare when I was a kid I think a Joss Whedon Shakespeare collaboration is, is long overdue because when I was a kid I was the kid while the kid was reading that I was sleeping I was napping yeah, yeah. in the back with the I was practicing my, my autograph right <laughs> yeah I was practicing your autograph too. That's weird. Um, yeah, no one's gonna be sleeping during this. This, this is, as John said, this is the sexiest thing he's ever done. He's right. There's a lot of kind of this is a summer party with intrigue and sex and drinking, danger. And, which is yeah, which is danger. very cool because Shakespeare's been done in modern time before, but it it was uh, we all thought we dropped acid and watched Romeo and Juliet, and uh -huh. that's the way that happened. Right. Yeah. Uh, but this is very. This is black and white. It's very real. Yeah. It's it's fun. Is it dark comedy? No, no, I would say it's a, it's a romantic comedy with 
a, a subplot of, that has a lot of drama in it. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. There, there is some very real danger in this mm-hmm. movie. There are some people who get very upset and for right and for, for good reason. Yeah. For good, what are these good reasons? Good a reason man, is a, man, a man's friend. daughter accused of being a, a wanton on, at, at the altar of her wedding. Yeah. She's called out for having spent the night before her wedding with another man. Yeah. It remains to be seen whether my daughter actually did that or if she's being set up by some nefarious characters. And in fact, my whole world would come to an end if there wasn't one man, one sheriff in that town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Played by a certain Nathan Fillion. Now, I, I wouldn't have slept through that if they pitched that like that in high school. Right. See, for me, it was just boring rhymes. Yes. But now, Clark himself. Were you in the pitch room for this? I was. You were. Okay, that's why. In, Eliz- in, Eliz- in Elizabethan England. <laughs> Get that out. Too tired from flying in. No, I feel you. Those those flights to L.A., man. Uh, when you use your arms, they will exhaust you. Yes. Joss Whedon movies usually, they they have comedy in them. And this is a romantic comedy with very dark tones. Is is Joss Whedon's comedy? Is it ever meant to be a comedy, or is it like it's written and then you're doing it? and You're like, oh, that would be kind of funny if that happens. Is it improv? Uh, the, uh, very little of what Joss Whedon does mm-hmm. is by accident. Mm-hmm. There's 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 I'd say less than one percent of what he puts on the screen uh, happened without his tedious planning <laughs> he's yeah, an um, evil mastermind he is yeah n- nothing is left to chance right um, certainly certainly things come to life when he puts the people mm-hmm. together there's he there's, he has a way of letting things live and breathe and casting the right people and and, and putting things in their capable hands it's it's really amazing to watch but yeah no I, I don't think a lot happens that's my opinion my humble opinion what's your I take Clark? I am H.O. I don't really say the words as written. I, I view the script kind of as a blueprint. Ah. No, that's what all the worst actors <laughs> say. Um, I think you nailed it. He creates a world where it feels very improvisatory, and yet you never really feel the impulse to leave the script because it works. Mm-hmm. And the script itself feels very spur of the moment, mm-hmm. which a lot of scripts don't. The only way you can kind of make them feel alive is to tweak them a little bit right. as you go. But you can't. That's what the bad otherwise. actors say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, right. I, I just outed myself. I'm sorry. Don't do that. No. Bad actors do not get T-shirts and hashtags about them. That's true. Um, he's Joss Whedon. Is, is, he's probably he is one of, if not the busiest guy in Hollywood right now. He's Mr. Marvel, mm. uh, Avengers. Straight off that, mm. um, much to do about nothing. Avengers two, producing Agents of Shield. Is he a vampire or is he a Kryptonian? One of the two. He's not a big sleeper. Yeah, doesn't I mean, sound we, like we it. We were at the upfronts uh, in New York. For crushingly long day of press and announcing the Shield shows going mm-hmm. forward, and I mean, I left the I left the the party at three, and Joss was still dancing. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him dance till morning with yeah. the sun up. So I know he's not a vampire, and he Plus has a he collection of kryptonite, so he can't be Kryptonian. Yeah, he's a new thing altogether. He's something else. Yeah. He's what he is a, a Kryptonian director. vampire. A Kryptonian vampire sent from the future back through time by a robot. To make movies better in this day and age. Come with Joss if you want to live. <laughs> I shall. Come with him if you want to live. Mm-hmm. You know what I love about Coulson is that it's because he's an agent, but other agents are like, okay, when they go away, I don't know what they do. They they get they puff away and smoke and go back to the big metal lab. But you like Coulson's like, I might go home, and then he might not have food there. Maybe he needs to go to Costco. He deals with everything I deal with, but he's like a super agent who yeah. shot a god in the chest with a big real BFG nine thousand mm-hmm. gun. Yes, and that's very cool. It's funny you know that I kept, when they give me. Colson's uh-huh. wallet every day in the props. Right. There's a Costco card right Is there a Costco card? Yeah, absolutely. It's mostly been used to buy ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> in bulk, that's right. Oh, but are there any scenes with you guys in there? Yes, there are. My first Together. scene, my first scene w- was with Clark. And really? uh, we were in the front yard of Joss's house. And it was my first experience being there. I watched Clark. He was, he was running lines. Who was that lady you were running lines with? Do you remember? Uh, she's, uh, she's a friend of mine, an actress, but also spectacularly talented at helping people learn lines quickly. Believe it or not, Name watching Sarah Jane him Hale. run his lines like a machine. Right. And I'm and I'm people are doing something over there, and he's just four steps away doing his stuff. I'm going, oh my god, he's got a lot to say, doesn't he? He's got a lot. And then turn around and face cam, and then start doing the same lines, but now with weight. I'm going, oh, I better, I better not blow this. I, <laughs> yeah, like, oh, when's my line? I can't remember my I line. Think I, you can't. Meant, I was doing the same lines, but going wait. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Now, you have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. coming out. It's on ABC, right? Yes. This fall. 
Yeah, so they tell me. So, 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 yeah, who knows? So far, so good. I don't know. It might be on the internet by then. <laughs> but uh, you, are, you're in the show. Are, do you carry the show, or is it like pilot episode? Well, my episode? friend, that remains to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, that's the theory of those involved, that Agent Coulson is kind of driving the ship. Um, but I'm surrounded by a spectacular mm-hmm. ensemble of young S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Uh, the magnificent Ming-Na Wen, who, mm-hmm. who plays Agent Melinda May, who's a, a very notorious badass within S.H.I.E.L.D. Right. See, here's the thing about Clark. He never plays intimidating, so he never believes that he's actually intimidating. But mm-hmm. he's very intimidating. You are. I could see that. The, the, the devil's in the eyes kind of thing. Right there. That look you just it's, gave. It's a weapon that I have. It's in the car. Don't make me take it out. <laughs> I'm telling you, see, you're a, you're a wolf in sheep's clothing, Clark. No other person could have Joss Whedon kill them, get resurrected, carry a show to come out this fall. That will probably get signed on again because people like me will watch it. Clark, you're breaking ground. I'm a groundbreaker, my friend. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I, I, I hope that's true. I, I'm excited to uh, shoot the show. We've mm-hmm. only shot one. It went pretty well. Uh, I'm excited to see where it goes. Now, have you shot just the pilot episode, or have you shot... Uh, a string of episodes. We shot the pilot episode. Mm-hmm. They picked that up. In about six, seven weeks, we start shooting more of them. And we will have just enough more of them in the can that they will, will be theoretically ahead of when they show them on TV. Uh, you got one more minute to speed it up. All right, Nathan Fillion, thank you for talking with me. That was easy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Clark Gregg. I try to make it easy on people. I try to make it easy on people with better hair than me. Clark Gregg, thank you yes. for talking with me. It's been a pleasure. You guys are masters. Um, catch them both. You can catch uh, Nathan Fillion on Castle, also on NBC, right? ABC. ABC. Also on, on ABC. And you can cl- catch Clark Gregg. That's why I brought two cameras, man. <laughs> I knew. I was like, he's going to eclipse. You can catch Clark Gregg on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. coming out this fall on ABC. And you can catch them both in Joss Whedon's new epic, Much Ado About Nothing. And you can follow them on Twitter. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. I like that. Coulson lives. <laughs>